today is a guitar unboxing and uh, this is for a uh, guitar that's hard to come by. It is uh, purchased off of Amazon like most of my guitars are and it is from a company called IYV although it's commonly mistaken for IVY, Ivy, and call that on Amazon. Although if you search both IYV and IVY you'll come up with these guitars. Um, this is a Brian May uh, Red Special copy and very very uh, excited about opening this one because it comes in two flavors basically. One that's really more in line and more authentic if you want to call it that with the Brian May guitar in that it has the zero fret um, on it as well as uh, three dot markers on the 12th and 24th fret which is more in line with uh, Brian's guitar. Um, there's another model of this guitar, I don't know if it's more current or older quite frankly, that doesn't have a zero fret and doesn't have three dot markers. So let's see what we got in here. Um, that's going to be the, the big mystery of the day. Okay guys, I'll open it up, go over all the features on the guitar, um, and uh, hopefully uh, it'll be um, uh, informative for you all. Okay? Here we go. First off, the first uh, <laughs> observation is this is what it shipped in. Single box, right? And I bought a couple of other IYV guitars before and that's their trademark for whatever reason. They do not double box these guitars, which is a problem. I'm hoping that when I open this thing, it's in one piece and that there's no significant damage on the guitar. So uh, I already see on the outside of the box a big, a little bit of a divot. Um, and there's some creasing on this thing, so let's see. Let's see what's inside. Use my trusty letter opener. Uh, from the time I ordered this, it shipped in about a week. So that's roughly the time frame you're going to have from Amazon with these guitars. That's if they have them in stock. They're extremely hard to find. As soon as they do have a couple of these things, they usually go immediately. So if you're interested in one of these and do happen to see one on Amazon, I would pull the trigger immediately because odds are they're going to be gone within hours of the time you see it. Okay. So, guitar is in... Uh, well, it's, it's a fairly... Um, I guess protected box, although the <laughs> styrofoam's already broken where it came in, but um, it has limited uh, protection inside the box. And it comes just with this styrofoam bag covering the guitar. Let's take off the, uh, the tremolo bar, and I hope there's a truss rod. Yeah, there's a, two truss rod adjustments, uh, one for the, uh, for the uh, one for the truss rod neck relief itself, and then it looks like there's another one for intonation on here. Okay. Let's see what we got. I hate these styrofoam things. They're really a pain in the neck to take off, but let's see. Okay, the back of the guitar looks good, and wow. Okay, we happen to get uh, Strike Pay Dirt here with, if you can see it all in the, in the camera, this is a zero fret model. And here's the front of the guitar. And as you can see on the 12th and roughly, well, it's on Brian's guitar, it's the 24th on the real one. It looks like it's on the 23rd fret, uh, the three dot markers on the guitar. Let's take a look at the guitar itself. Upon close inspection, there are, there are some smudges on here and... Uh, I don't see anything major on the guitar. It looks like it escaped any potential damage that it could have had with the poor ship with the poor boxing of the guitar. Yeah, it looks pretty good. So let's let's get into the guitar itself. So first off, um, Brian May, who's the guitar player in Queen, um, brilliant guitar player, great guitar player. Um, back when he was around 17 years old. Him and his dad decided to build a guitar uh, for no other good reason than they had no money <laughs> and they couldn't afford to buy a Fender or a Gibson. So they came uh, to think up one and say, uh, hey, let's build one 
and let's try to make it better than what's currently out there and build it to the our own specifications and what we like with what we have to work with. So they really didn't have any heavy duty, you know, power tools or any sophisticated equipment. Uh, they went at it and they built um, a guitar out of what they could find around the house. So uh, the wood of the guitar, the top of the guitar was made from an old table. The uh, neck of the guitar, believe it or not, was made from, I think, a 100 year old fireplace. That's what the, the tale tells. And um, other assorted, you know, components um, came from, you know, uh, uh, buttons that they had that, that they broke up to make dot markers and, uh, and hardware around the house and other, you know, ancillary um, materials that they could find. And they came up with a guitar and they called it the Red Special. And that's what this is a replica of. Now, this is IV, IYV's um, uh, version of that, which is a budget version of this guitar. You can also get this guitar from uh, a company called Burns and also Brian May Guitars um, that make a much more high-end version of this guitar and you're going to probably pay anywhere between $800 and these things have gone as much as uh, $3,000 depending upon who's making them and what, what components are in the guitar. This is relatively close to what Brian's guitar looked like. Uh, it's slightly different. I mean, here, the, the knobs, for example, on this guitar are different. Brian's had his own custom knobs that he put on from the materials that he could find. Um, uh, the switches on his guitar are in a little bit of a different uh, configuration. They're kind of straight across. Um, the tremolo system in his guitar is different. Um, so there are minor changes. Obviously, the major differences on his guitar are uh, the pickups. He, in his guitar, they use Burns Trisonic pickups. These are um, uh, some Asian version of, of a Burns pickup. Uh, I'm not sure what they are, but we'll, we'll look into them a little bit more as we go along. Um, so that's really a little bit of the history of this guitar. The company, IYV, is, uh, is Inyan Vina. I-N-Y-E-N, new word, V-I-N-A. And they're a Korean company that has one um, manufacturing facility in Vietnam. So they produce these guitars out of Vietnam, and the plant that this is produced out of um, makes guitars, believe it or not, for ESP, makes some of the ESP import guitars, as well as uh, Dillion, who is a, an excellent quality uh, guitar manufacturer, and they make Les Paul type models and um, PR, uh, PRS type models and a bunch of other style guitars, and they do a really good job, really good quality. And from the reviews I've read, and you can do your, your research on, on YouTube, you can see that these Dillion guitars are are phenomenal from a quality standpoint. The other thing that's interesting about IYV and the plant in Vietnam is I believe Harley Benton, which is another budget guitar manufacturer from Thoman, uh, Thoman they um, also use a Vietnamese plant. I believe they use the same facility as this, as this place. And they also have their own version of this guitar. Uh, Thoman's version is, I think, the BM-75, if I'm not mistaken. There's so many different models. Um, and it's not quite as true to form as this thing is in terms of how it, uh, you know, um, represents Brian's original guitar. But it's also a good guitar. So let's take a look at the guitar and the, and the features on the guitar. So here's the front. As you can see, it's three single coil pickups. These are uh, Trisonic uh, replicas, and they are from a company, um, DLX, it says on here. And it says CNC uh, Destiny, CNC Wound. Now, I've used Destiny pickups from uh, Ivy on a couple of other guitars that I've had that were Ivy-type guitars, and they're excellent guitars. And I think um, uh, Harley Benton also uses them on, on some of their guitars. They are very, very good budget uh, pickups. So I'm really interested to see how these things uh, sound compared to, you know, to some of the other replicas that are out there. They're not going to be as good as Burns, obviously, and you're not paying a, you know, uh, nearly as much for the, the guitar. Probably this guitar is less than three pickups, Burns pickups, if you purchase them. So I'm not expecting that kind of uh, a result. The tremolo system on here looks relatively stable. Um, two screws. Um, it's, it's not. It's sort of like a Strat. Um, uh, bridge, but a little bit different in terms of design. I'm not a tremolo user, so as long as this thing stays, you know, relatively stays in tune, I'll be happy. There's the end cap 
the back of the bridge that's consistent with what Brian had on his guitar. The um, board on here <clears throat> is not described by the manufacturer. So um, it's lighter than ebony, and it, I don't think it's rosewood. Let me, let me see. I'll tell you in a second. Mm, it's not rosewood. Do you know how you can tell if it's rosewood by smelling it? You can't. I'm just playing with you. <laughs> I have no idea what this what this fretboard is. It's probably some uh, rosewood, you know, knockoff. I don't know blackwood. Some of these uh, Asian import guitars use something called blackwood, which is uh, you know a substitute. Uh, the CITES restrictions are off now, so technically you can ship rosewood, but it wasn't specified, so I don't believe this is a rosewood fretboard. The uh, headstock simply has IYV on it in a pearlized fashion. And uh, if anybody can read Vietnamese, there's Vietnamese writing on the truss rod cover. I'm not sure what it says. Maybe it says Brian May in Vietnamese. I have no idea. Um, the guitar itself has a, looks like a double ply pick guard, white edges around the black pick guard. Slightly different than Brian's original pick guard, although it's pretty, pretty similar. Um, it's got one tone and one volume knob on the guitar. Then the interesting thing on this guitar are these, right? These selector switches. It's got three rows. Now, this row, which is closest to the tone and the volume knob, can turn on and off any one of these three pickups. So if you want two pickups going, you can keep two in, in, in the on position. If you want all three, you keep all three. If you want only one, you keep one. You get the idea. And then below it, you have another row of switches, which are switches that allow each one of these pickups to be in phase and out of phase. So the combinations and the tonal possibilities on this guitar are really, really um, many. Um, I've heard anywhere from, you know, 26, 28, 30 different types of tonal um, capabilities by just playing around with these switches. I have no idea. Again, um, I'm, I'm anxious later on just to try it out and to see how these things work. Uh, this this uh, video is not designed for that. It's more just to an unboxing and just to show you how the guitar looks, what comes on the guitar, and how it came out of the box from the manufacturer, from Ivy. Uh, the nut on here, uh, from forums I've read, is supposed to be a bone nut, although I doubt it, quite frankly and quite honestly. Uh, it doesn't look like a bone nut. It looks like a plastic nut. But again, it's, it's really insignificant because on a zero fret guitar, that zero fret acts as the nut, and this really just simply holds the strings um, in position. So the nut really gives you the zero fret marker um, there, really acts as the nut and um, stabilizes the tuning on the guitar. The back of the guitar, you can see, just has, uh, it looks like a set glued in neck, which is nice. Um, and there are your tuners. They're sealed tuners. No idea what the ratio, tuning ratios are or what type of tuners they are, but they're sealed tuners. Um, the guitar, again, just says on the back it's made in Vietnam and it has a serial number on it. it looks like a, 19, a 2020 model, by the way. The wood on the guitar is mahogany from the manufacturer. This is some mahogany wood. Um, Brian's guitar had chambered pockets in, inside the guitar. This guitar feels, it feels like a solid guitar to me. I would highly doubt that there are, that it's chambered, but again, it could be. I have no way of knowing without opening this thing up. And, it, you know, from the, the old knocking on it test, I can't tell. It does. I don't believe it has any chambered pockets in this guitar. Again, that's, that's what Brian's Red Special had. Um, the neck. A couple of reviews on YouTube describe this neck as being, and by the way, Brian liked thick necks. His guitar, the original Red Special, had a very, very uh, D-shaped, full, thick neck. I've heard reviews of this guitar as it being, you know, really, really thick, baseball bat thick. It is thicker than your normal neck and a tad bit wider, but it's a flat rate. I would say this is a 12-inch radius, um, and I would say it's probably a D-shaped neck, more so than a C-shaped neck, but it's not baseball bat thick. I mean, to me, and it's not in tune, 
it's a it's a comfortable neck. It's a comfortable feeling neck. Um, again, it's, if you're looking for an Ibanez wizard thin neck, it's not what you're getting here. But if you're looking at a 59 Les Paul baseball bat neck, you're not getting that either. It's just kind of uh, in between, and and I I would say it's a comfortable neck. Um, the guitar comes with uh, this white um, uh, binding uh, along the fretboard and also along the front and back of the guitar. So you can see it's, a, it's an off-white ivory type binding that goes along the fretboard and on the top and bottom of the guitar. The wood finish on this thing, which is transparent red, is actually very nice. Um, I don't know how clear you could see that, but it has a nice grain to it and a nice looking finish on this guitar. The uh, similar to Brian's, it looks different, obviously, but this is where you, your input jack is on the guitar, right in the bottom bottom of the guitar. What else can we talk about here? We went over just about everything. Um, neck thickness, nut. So, so guys, that's pretty much um, the Ivy uh, Brian May. It's an IBM 200 is the model, and I'll in the link below I will put um, you know the link to Amazon to where you can purchase one of these if in fact they have one in stock, and the limited specifications that are on the on the site. Uh, Ivy doesn't really have a site. Um, if you if you search Indian. Vena guitars, you may find something with very, very limited information. But um, again, the only thing I can tell you about Indian Vena is that it is a Vietnam uh, based company where they manage, it's a Korean company that has a plant, I should say, in Vietnam. And they make very, very good quality um, imported instruments. Uh, this guitar is solidly built. Um, I love the fact that it does, this one I was lucky and does have the zero fret marker and the uh, the zero fret and the, uh, the three dot markers on the 12th and 23rd fret, and uh, it came it came shipped um, very nicely, very fast, and thank God free of any significant or any noticeable damage on the guitar. So, guys, if you're looking for a Brian May knockoff replica and don't want to break the bank by spending a thousand dollars, two thousand, three thousand dollars on a guitar. I would highly recommend if you could find an, an IYV um, Brian May guitar. And again, your best bet is to check Amazon. Every couple of months they do restock these, but they're in limited quantity, and as soon as they get them, they go. I was lucky, as a matter of fact, when I first ordered this one, I think there was one, I, I neglected to order it, and then it was gone. And then I went back two days for the hell of it. It must have been a canceled original order because it showed up again as one quantity. I ordered it and I got the guitar. But um, I've heard stories where these things are not in stock for months. And then if you go on eBay, you go on Reverb, you get the uh, the guys that are gouging out there and taking advantage of limited supplies and are charging like, you know, four or $500 for the same guitar you can pay um, on Amazon. And by the way, guys, I, I spent um, about $174 plus tax free shipping for this guitar. So for, for $174, $175, let's say, um, plus... Um, plus tax, free shipping, that's what you're looking at, as opposed to spending, you know, four or $500 on Reverb or eBay for guys that are trying to take advantage of a limited supply. So I'd hold off, I'd wait, I'd check Amazon, see when they're in stock, and then as soon as you do see them in stock, pull the trigger. But well worth the price, uh, a nice guitar, nicely built guitar. Um, all the reviews I've read of the guitar is that it plays extremely well and that these pickups are, and if they're any way near as good as the, um, CNC wound uh, Destiny pickups that I've had on the PRS copies of these and some of the other IYV guitars, they're going to be decent pickups. So, um, as always, uh, I really appreciate you supporting the channel. I'll try to review as many of these budget type guitars as I can. Um, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. I'm trying to build a subscriber base. Um, subscribe. Uh, and uh, I will put down below again in the link uh, the description of the guitar, where to buy it. And any questions that you have regarding this Brian May facsimile IYV guitar, ask and I'll address and answer as quickly and as uh, completely as possible. Guys, until the next time, as always, be well and stay safe. And thanks for checking out the video.